Ready? Are you Black and white and red and what and what and what and what and hello! Welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. I'm Ryan Seymour and I read too much. Oh this my week. god, did you ever? I was oh ambitious. My god. I was ambitious. Dude, like there was books on books on books. Yeah, but, I mean, but there was all the rebirth stuff. Okay, yes. Which, which is critical reading, but then we also had this. Yo, okay. Like, how do you prioritize? By request. By request. And we did get some requests. Yeah. We appreciate that, guys. Yeah. Um, we somewhat danced around honoring them. Um, yeah. I do believe you honored a few more than I did. Uh, yes. Some different ones. Uh, yeah. We actually got a Facebook request for Donald Duck. And, and it, he read it. Yeah, I read it. He read it. Yeah. Um, you're a good man. You're a good man for that. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Like it, I'm not suggesting it is. It's just... It's a different demographic than... Than what, what you normally do. Or is it? Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. There are two sides to every coin. Mm. Mm. All right. So... Where do you want to start? Because we read a lot of things that are the same. Yeah, a ton of stuff to talk about there. Um, yeah. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Talky, 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 talky. Because we both did, we did Empress. We both did Division. Yeah. And I did Aquaman. What else do you got over there? Oh, bull poopy. Uh, let's go different. You want to go different first? Yeah, let's go different first. Okay, we'll go different first. Can I jump in first? All right, so I took on Rebirth Aquaman. And let me just say that this is one of those things where... This is an educational book, okay? This is educational. Yeah. The thing is, is to look at what makes Aquaman a truly interesting character. And if you're ever on the fence, when you're ever like, meh, Aquaman, do talk to fish. Yeah. This is the book that you need to pick up. There's more to it. There is a there's lot more, to, more it. to it, man. There's a lot more. There's angst. There's some conflict yeah. internally, externally. The story here, man, yeah. and the, uh, the narrative uh, that kind of opens this up mm -hmm. really showcases what the actual conflict is. It almost makes, <laughs> I'm not lying, don't laugh at me when I say this. Oh. This makes Aquaman a more interestingly conflicted character than Superman. Yes, I said this. A man of okay. two worlds trying to figure out where he fits. Very true. Right? That's a similarity. Yeah. But the, the actual localization of it mm -hmm. is so much more specific with Aquaman. Yeah. Like, with Superman, it's like, oh, Krypton is gone. So how do I carry on the Kryptonian foundation? Yeah. This dude is like, my daddy was from the land, my mama was from the water, both of them are still here, which one do I protect? Yeah. Which one do I protect? Which one is most important yeah. to me? Ooh, yeah. conflict. Neither side likes him, yeah. which makes it even worse. Like at least yeah. Superman flies around, people are like, hey! It's Superman. That's a nice cape. It's like, oh, that's the dude that talks to fish. Yeah. Like no, he lives under the ocean where there's all that pressure. Right. Like literal pressure. Literal pressure. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's not, He's a strong character. He has right. powers. Right. Let's give him, just because he talks to fish, just, you know, don't... They actually, they do bring that up in a very specific really? manner of the idea of talking to fish. Mm -hmm. No spoilers, but yeah. it was really good. Like, I have yeah. to admit, like, I read the New 52 Aquaman. I was like, this is cool. Yeah. You know, not bad. But this one is really approaching him with a sense of sincerity and, and not justification, but clarification okay. as to why yeah. Aquaman deserves your respect, people. Respect the waters. Respect the king of the waters, okay? Two-thirds of the earth, his domain. He could rule us. Aquaman. I'm just saying. Yeah. Trust it. Okay, so what did you do? Donald Duck. <laughs> All right. So in this issue, <coughs> let, me, let me first point out, I am not yes. the target demographic for Donald Duck. So you say. Yes. So you say. It was a fun read. Okay. The, the main plot of the main chunk of the story, mm -hmm. uh, Donald Duck has... Gyro create for him a bunch of like Batman type stuff. Okay. So like a supercar disguises a, a, an. You're saying this is lair. not a part of our demographic, not our normal regular it's so reading. Close. Like demographic. it's right there. Okay. It's, okay. Much like another book, it, it just needs that one more step to. to needs a push. The push. Okay. Yeah. So he's got this this layer and everything, uh, so he can be have a secret identity, <laughs> and not to like save people or anything like that. It's pure Donald Duck, and like he wants to avoid his uncle because he doesn't want to work. <laughs> He wants to avoid bill collectors, <laughs> and so it's it's just fantastic. Is like he tries to implement all these things, and of course things comically it just, goes bad. just go wrong. Oh my god! So def definitely funny. It's one I'm I'm probably going to steal a copy for myself and take home to my son. That's fair. So, Donald Duck yeah. sounds like Peter Parker's woes, just without the benefit of having been bitten by a spider. <laughs> like he doesn't have yeah, Spider-Man powers, but he's just like, oh, it's finally I can figure out. Oh, poor Peter, I get it. I yeah, get it, man. I get you. I get man. it. I get you. <laughs> That was pretty solid. Such a random request, but appreciated. Appreciated. I don't know if it was honestly given to us with sincerity, but it was read with sincerity. Yeah, it was. And that, that I makes took you, it seriously. That's why you're the mayor of Comic Town. I just want you to know that. I'm on Yelp. Check it out. Oh God, four four stars. Four completely. Star. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, oh my God. Okay, so we got to save the vision. Yeah, vision for, for last. last. It has to be last. Yeah. 
Um, Empress number three. Yes. Um, I swear, if it if it wasn't known that this is a multifaceted series, mm -hmm. I'd be pissed because it's so fast and breakneck, and you're just like, oh my god, it's kinetic! I can't stop reading. Yeah. I would be mad because, like, I think what we're almost halfway through this close, particular yeah, arc. Is, yeah. I think it's only six at yeah. a time. Um, God, I'm so there. Yeah. So there. 28 pages. None. There's not a single panel wasted. No. No. It's like it's it's almost like it's being storyboarded for a movie. What? <laughs> People, pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. Um, even on the and that's the thing that makes it so cool. So Mark just actually uh, announced his later project yeah. with uh, Greg oh. Capula and Jonathan Glapian. Yeah. Um, Reborn. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That also looks really yeah. really cool. Yeah. Um, and you would think, okay, with the number of things that he has in queue, uh, in the multimedia facets of production that he has, that yeah. he might be able to like let something just skip a beat, yeah. you know, just you, coast you, a little. You think. It's issue three. And he still ends it on a cliffhanger. We're like, what is gonna yeah. happen? Like you're just like, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Where you're just locked in. Like I need to know. It's like a science fiction version of the of like the Indiana Jones movies, where there's a pace mm. into it, where there's a cliffhanger every couple yes. pages, and yes. it, you're, you're always drawn in. You yes. never have a moment to just kind of decompress. You don't. But at all. Good there's no rest. Yeah. There's no rest. Like your break is when the next issue is when you're waiting for it to come out. Like yeah. that's it. Again, if it if it wasn't for the fact that I already know that this is. Like a long term, like I don't know, saga here. Yeah, there's some something growing. I would I would be pissed because I'm feeling like we're getting it too fast. Yeah, like we're getting it way too fast. Yeah, um, but it's so fun. Yeah, it is so fun. Fans of Star Wars. Yes. Fans of saga. Yes. Um, it's it's just it's good stuff. Dude, right now this is the thing. Okay. I'm waiting for it because, okay, we've studied Mark. Mm -hmm. I've studied Mark because I'm a ridiculous person. I've stalked him. I was trying to say that. Restraining orders, bro. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm All just right. saying. So, I'm waiting for the twist. Mark is the king of the twist. There's something right? coming. There is. There absolutely is. And and I can admit right now, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Like I, I I haven't seen it coming. I don't know what it is. But like the thing is, like they've been presenting uh, her husband as the bad guy. Right. And he's not done anything wrong. Y yeah. Like at all. Yeah. The closest. I mean, he he skirted it in this issue, but was it really? Was it really wrong though? To maintain the level of control he has over that right. area you almost need to you you have to dude that's yeah. that's that's game game of thrones ian yeah. right like ned stark would have done it ned stark would have done it let's yeah. just keep it 100 he would have done it yeah. and we love ned stark we yeah. loved him loved past tense, past tense. Oh. <sighs> spoilers uh, i guess yeah. if you yeah don't lose your heads over that one. Oh, <laughs> i see what you yeah. did there um yeah i with with everything that's going on with Jupiter's uh, legacy coming back, yeah, um, so soon. Yeah, Miller World is killing it right now. Yeah. Like it's it's not even fair. Um, all create our own people. If you're not operating on Mark's level, you're not operating. Like you yeah. just stopped. Yeah. Do better. Do better for yourselves. The paradigm is changing. Yeah, like it, it is. It just really is. It cre is creator owned image, dark horse, Miller World icon. It, that's that's where you go. Yeah, you take your ideas there. You you own them. Yes. you create them. Yes. you promote them, and it's. You're not you're not having to worry about like oh in three years are they going to change the continuity? It's yours. Yeah. You do what you yeah. want. And when you're as smart as Mark is, obviously, um, you you ride that to the fullest success possible. Where you've got yeah. your story that you want to tell, and then you allow other people to play with your toys. Yeah. And it only just builds your legend. Yeah. Like that's. <sighs> I just want to smell it and just wipe that success on my oh, yeah. face, neck, and chest. That's what it is. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, let's talk about this yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah, real, real quick yeah, while, yeah, while we're yeah, on this one. Yeah. All right, uh, there is a Miller Celebration Day contest yes. coming up. Uh, I don't know. It, 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 if you don't check your Diamond Daily emails, a lot of people don't. Uh, you might not have might not, might not have read about it. Uh, it's going to be using the hashtag Miller Day Contest. Okay. And between June fifteenth and June twenty eighth, you're going to create an end cap mm -hmm. for Miller World titles. Okay. Tweet it out. A, uh, a winner will be selected on the 29th, and that winner will win a Skype signing with not just Mark, but Frank Quietly. Whoa! Stop it! Yeah. Um, because that's also going to be timed roughly right around the time uh, Jupiter's Legacy number number one, one volume, volume two, two. Yeah. comes out. Yeah, I would probably sacrifice my children for that. Oh yeah, this yeah. like at least one of them. Yeah, at one least one of them. I got four. I can sacrifice one. Yeah. Like. Look, there's one right now. It just came out. <laughs> He's just like, it's going to be me, Dad. It's going to oh, be me. I, I know. Yeah, I know. It's my it's birthright. Right. I know. 
but I love you. You know, um, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. You got ideas for your in cap? Oh yeah. Yeah. No yeah. spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. I've got a spreadsheet. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah. It's it's maybe we can work together. We'll build it even more. What? Be an in wall, not even an in cap. We'll just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll Miller world to death. Miller universe. What? Um, so the vision. Master, Tom King. Masterclass. A masterclass in story writing. Again, if you harken back to whatever episode it was where we acknowledge and admit that we slept on this one. Yeah, we failed. Okay? Issue one came and went. We didn't know. It wasn't until we got the suggestion when issue two came yeah, out that we went out. back and we read it. Yeah. Um, Tom is changing the game, people. Yeah. Um, he's taking characters that are prominent but giving them life that they have never received before. Yeah, Aquamanish in nature. Yes, yes. Like, oh God, if he wrote Aqu like, Stop, I can't, I yeah. can't. Don't touch me, don't touch me right now. I'm having a moment. <sighs> oh, okay, okay, I'm back, I'm sorry. Um, this one, like, okay, last issue was a little bit of a, like an origin story type piece, but yeah. it, it fit, Yeah. but it was kind of, you know, a, a break from the forward motion of yeah. the story. This one weaves in a component that I had forgotten. Yeah. I had totally forgotten. And but it's so right. Yeah. This it's a character that we haven't seen for a while now. Like yeah. a year or so? At, at least yeah. And it was yeah. from a series that was most recently from a series that was very much a throwaway. Yes. Yes. And yes. He fits oh, on man. so many levels. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. The the way that this issue is broken down mm -hmm. in in a sense of positive moments yes. and, and the way they're, they're classified and, and, and that's, this isn't spoiling anything because the interactions right. are what really yeah you have to read it to even it, see this yeah and when it builds to that that crescendo at yes. the end yes oh. it's it hurts more like yeah. it, it, it really hurts more yeah um, because of just the the ease and calm of the entire issue yeah that once you get to that moment it's painful yeah like on a spiritual level like i almost called my grandmother and cried like it was yeah it was, it was real it was a religious thing yeah because you're seeing this the, the, a family like, yeah. like a legitimate real yes functional family yes and then to find out what what we find out in those last few pages mm -hmm. and the combination of of finding out the the narration because the narrator is dropping oh. bombs on us oh issue. my god and then you mix in the casual violence yes of, of what yes. is happening. And once again, that doesn't, you, 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 it doesn't spoil anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It, 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 when you turn that last page and you realize you're, it's the letters page and you're yes. done. You're like, no, no, yeah. no. That's a season finale drop. Yeah. Like, thank God there's, it's just a month. Yeah. But that is a season finale drop where you're yeah. like, I gotta wait till when to find out what happened? Like, yeah, M minimum 28 days. Yeah. It, and it's, it, yeah, it's, it's amazing. The art. Yes. Every word that's chosen is, is perfect in this. Uh, Deliberate, very specific. Yeah. I, basically, Tom King, you are you are a phenomenal writer, and you're making your name matter more than the characters that you're writing. Yeah. And that's that's a beautiful, beautiful skill. Like it's 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 to the point where it's like we got Tom King. What doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. I will read it. Like, yeah. Uh, the vision. I mean, and I, and I like vision. Vision is awesome. Yeah. Right. But. There's something about what you've accomplished with this. Never saw that coming yeah. at all. Um, no. As as you have said, uh, you feel like this book will be, you know, yeah. scholarly. Yeah. 20, you know. 20, 20 years from now, it's going to be taught at college level contemporary literature classes, much like Watchmen is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's, there's a, a weird dark future coming where my my kids are going to have to read this for for uh, passing. Yeah, and, the, and uh, it, yeah, it, I can't wait. So That's like, I remember <laughs> when. I remember when it came and, out. And it's just it's 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 phenomenal. Like all the different things that I would sleep. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all, the, all the hard topics. Yes. That, yes. That, that they take on violence, uh, racism, uh, just uh, just everything. I, it's. I know you said lit, but I honestly feel like there are going to be lawyer courses that present this as debatable arguments okay yeah. here's where the, here's what the story said argue it go yeah where are you at because there's two sides to almost every moment every single last one yeah every single last one and they are absolutely legitimate and brilliant like yeah. it's 
Stop before I spoil something. I'm going to spoil something. Yeah. <clears throat> um, just because of the weight and the depth of it, that one definitely gets Book of the Week for me. Um, yeah. It is. It is. How many more issues do we have left? It's a 12 issue run. Right. So this is, is this issue seven. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I, I hope it's know. issue two. Oh no, it's issue eight. Oh. It's issue eight. So we only have four left. Um, I'm not even gonna put it back because I can't. Yeah, it's I saw that. Amazing. Shh, don't, don't even worry about it. Um, only four left, dude. Yeah. But then we have him on Batman. Yes, we do have him on Batman, so which that. is gonna be great. Um, I mean, as much as Scott Snyder did his thing. Um, I can't wait to see. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Listen, as we we said like Scott was seminal. We said he was seminal. Yeah. I feel. You gotta be down with the king. You wanna be down with the, the king. The many facets of Bruce Wayne and Batman and that dual life, I can't wait to see him tackle. Yes. That's gonna be... Yes. Uh, Bottom line, get that, get Batman, Tom King for life. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we have some uh, honorable mentions. Yes. Let's talk about our separate honorable mentions before we get into the fair. king of the honorable mention piece that we have shared. Yes. Um, Would you prefer to go first? I will go first. I did a uh, Wonder Woman Rebirth number one. Yeah. Now, I've been, you know, really big fan of like the Legend of Wonder Woman and trying yeah. to see where that's gonna fit. And I almost feel like there is not a direct attachment, but it is bringing up the idea of what her story was, okay. what the New 52 story has become, and the question of which one is the right one. Yeah. And I like that. Uh, because I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of the New 52 uh, origin story. I'm yeah. not. You it, know, it, it's it radically changes. Her. It does. It does. And it, yes, it opens up some doors. But did you actually have to change that origin piece in order to open up those doors? Yeah. I don't think you do. No. And there's something majestic about what her origin story has always been. Yeah. You know, um, they didn't change Batman's origin. They didn't change yeah. Superman's origin. Yeah. Why do you have to mess with? Come on. Because they don't know how to handle that character. Well, she, that's the problem. She's not one to get handled. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't handle Wonder yeah. Woman. You know what I'm saying? Shoo. Psh. But um, art-wise, it's, it's fantastic. Um, it's, it's got like a lot of you know poise to it. The story is really strong. It's Greg Rucka, which yeah. you can't go wrong with. Yeah. Um, him being back is kind of a, a breath of fresh air. So yeah. this is someone that's definitely going to take her seriously. Not that Azarello didn't. Don't, don't take that that yeah. way. It's just that he has such a majesty for what her legend has been without being asked to reinvent her wheel. Yeah. And that's, that's beautiful to me. Yeah. I can't wait to see where it's going. It's, it's going to be yes. good. Yours? Norman. Mm -hmm. It is a delightful story about an eight-year-old boy <laughs> who wants to be a serial killer. Uh, it's it's really close to being this generation's like Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Yes. Um, the, the art has a little bit of a manga flair to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's humor, but they just need to push that the envelope on that humor a little you bit You want more. it to go full on dark. Uh, yeah. 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 And uh, apparently this is the third installment, so there's a volume one and a volume two, Okay. and this is the first of the third, there looks like there is a potential love interest oh. for him, um, oh. which is terrifyingly awesome. Serial killers need love too. Yeah, so yeah. if you're a fan of JTHM, give this a shot. Biggity bam, biggity bam, get that, get that. I think that could be fun. Yeah. Okay, people. <coughs> so we took on Grizzly Shark versus Sea Bear number Three? Is this one? Or what, how do final, we count this? This is issue three. It is the final okay. of the trilogy. Okay. Because I was going to say, was it always versus Sea Bear throughout the rest of it, or was it just Grizzly Shark? Grizzly Shark. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ryan Otley, <laughs> you, sir, are in punishment forever. Um, this was amazing. It's amazing. It's so, so funny. It's like, so it's funny. It's so violent. Yeah. It's so wrong yeah. on so many different levels. Um, the first, what? Four pages, three, four pages yeah. are a, a great PSA for not texting and driving. Yeah. Um, just don't. Don't do that. Because you might get eaten by grizzly <laughs> sharks. No spoilers, though. No spoilers. But I'm just saying, like, it could happen. Yeah. Um, I am going to call you out, though, Ryan. I mean, we, we, we are familiar with one another. Um, we've met each other. Um, this book is racist. This is racist. Why does we have to have the black folks in there in the way that we have them? Hmm? Hmm? Answer that. Answer me that. Can you do that for me, Ryan? Tweet me, bro. We're going to talk about this. I did still love it, though. Oh, no. <laughs> it was hilarious. There's a splash page in here that needs to be a poster. I would I would just snap by Make it. Make that happen. Make oh, that gosh. happen. We have, Okay. Ryan, in his expert geniusness, has decreed um, Sci-Fi Channel. You have 48 hours. 48. To, to option. optionists. Yeah. And if you don't, mm -hmm. Ryan, I will PayPal you the sum of $20 for the movie rights to this. 
even friends and family, so I take the hit. That's real. That's so real, sir. That's just real. Hit me up with that email address. You know what I'm pass. saying? That's all. That's all you got to do, bro. Yeah. That's it. Look, the thing is, is like this could be the end cap of the the Sharknado franchise. Yeah. Can you can you imagine? Because the, the the tornado puts the sharks on land. The sharks right. on land evolve. Boom. Into grizzly sharks. Boom. There it is. There it is. But then all of a sudden, like like Godzilla versus King Kong, he arises from the deep. Yeah. From the deep. But this. The sea bear. Sea bear is so much more terrifying and it's cuddling. It's <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I want to co-op this term and represent Columbus with it. It just make a <laughs> make a sea bear. <laughs> make a sea bear shirt. It might happen, man. It might happen. I have such love for this. It, it's sad that it's gone. I know, right? <laughs> this is this is volume two of what has been the Grizzly Shark franchise. I'm gonna say Ryan, use this. If you don't use this, you're leaving money on the table, bro. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. The third installment, right? Grizzly Shark 3D. Come on. Come on. All you got to do. It writes itself. Come on. It's just, it's better than Jaws, it, man. It, yeah. It's better than Jaws. <laughs> you're going to need a bigger book. Oh, oh, I said it. I said it. Use that. Use that.